Last time, I installed new control arm bushings and trailing arm bushings. Now it's time for the rear end to get reassembled. I cleaned up the nuts, bolts, and other hardware in some rust dissolver before getting started. First up was installing the trailing arms into their housings. Then came the upper control arms with the new PowerFlex bushings. It's a little difficult to get the bolt to line, but eventually I got it. I got these beautiful cherry red lower control arms made by Godspeed from ECS Tuning. These have a threaded body and will be far easier for adjusting camber in the rear. Once I got them in, the rear end really started to come together. The only thing that's left is the differential along with some brackets. Differential, on the other hand, was not easy. It weighs about 65 pounds and is very difficult to get in when you're working with only about a foot of room. Off camera, I attach a drive shaft to the input flange and install the support bracket. The nuts and bolts had cleaned up nicely from the rust dissolver, so it was time to reinstall them. I have yet to purchase new brake rotors, springs, dampers, and rear sway bar. This will come later in the series, but for now I've got all the other major components reinstalled. The suspension travels nicely with no play anywhere. Having everything looking fresh is a nice bonus. It's satisfying seeing it not only rebuilt, but looking good too. As always, thanks for watching and feel free to like and subscribe. Next time, we'll pull the engine and get started on that whole can of worms.